Hey, welcome back to the Happy Place Diaries. Over time, your control panel is going to do some wonky things for you. And typically, it's all about just changing out switches in this episode of the Happy Place Diaries. Hey, welcome back. Hey, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so already and share it with a friend. Uh, we're all about sharing our journey uh, in the uh, RV life. And so uh, today's a helpful hint and maybe a how-to. Um, over time on our control panel here, we've replaced just about every one of the switches. And so in my little my little kit here, I carry some of the, the switches. And these are the illuminated 12 volt on and off switches. And we'll show you those to you up close. Um, if, if you have an RV, you've seen them. Uh, but over time, what'll happen is they'll go out and you'll know it because they'll, they'll feel real spongy. So, like I said, there's five illuminated switches on my panel. I've changed all five of those out. Well, the last time we were out, we went to push the slide out, or bring the slide out back in, and I hit my glide room uh, switch on the panel, and it didn't work the first time. Then I hit it again, and I kind of tapped it, and the glide out came in. Same thing happened when I pushed it back out. So the troubleshooted solution, it felt real spongy and I felt that before. And so I just ordered and got this from my local uh, RV dealer at Curtis, the slide out switch. And it comes, now you gotta be careful because not all slide out switches are the same. Uh, I needed a five pin. Let's see if we can. I needed the five pin. And so this switch came with a new plate. And it came with the switch itself. I'm thinking, <laughs> well, and I know, that all I have to do is replace this. I don't need this anymore. So in this video, we are going to replace the glide out or the slide out uh, glide in and out uh, switch. So let me reset things and I'll show you up close uh, what we're doing today in replacing this switch. Okay, so big eye here, but I've got it zoomed into the panel. And the first thing that we need to do is take out the old switch. And that's a pretty simple process. Sometimes you can get a fingernail in there and sometimes you need a little straight edge, which I'm going to need. So let me grab that and we'll pop this panel off. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pop this panel off. Okay, so once you have your switch out, you'll note that it is a five pin connector. And you really don't have to worry about wiring diagrams because at least on the Keystone Passport, this is what's behind the panel. You got your three on one side and the two on the other. So it will only go one way or the other. You can't put it in upside down because it won't fit that way. So let's get the new switch put in. So I got, got, got them out. Here's the old one. Here's the new one. So on the new one, now out of the package, it looks like this. And off the wall, this one looks like this. Obviously, there's a size difference, 
but the inside is exactly the same. For those of you that don't have a, oh, there he goes. He quit mowing his lawn right when. <laughs> For those of you that don't have a plug like mine, they do give a wiring diagram out of the box. There it goes. All right, back to this, back to the switch. So I have to make this switch so that it'll fit in my, that hole. And mowing the lawn take two. Anyway, this is pretty simple. The face just pops off. And then to get the switch out of this casing, it's pretty simple. There's just two uh, press knobs in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press the detent and you can feel it pop and then press the detent here. I guess I should do that in camera. Pressing the detent. And this will eventually work itself right out of this little casing there. There it goes. And I press this detent. So there's the casing that it was in. And there's the switch. Here's the old switch. Here's the new switch. Now I hope I remember which one is which. Alright, so here's the new switch. Let's get it plugged in. Alright, like I said, it can only go one way or the other. So I've got the the three connectors here and the two two connectors there. So that'll be the top. This will be the bottom. And I just plug it in. Now what I want to do is I want to hold it's helpful if you could work this out a little bit and hold it into place so that it doesn't pop back in like it just did. Because what I don't want to do is have to take this whole panel off, but I think I'm going to have to now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I got that thing pushed into there. And so I have to take the panel off. So we're going to take the panel off, which is actually pretty simple. You just uh, six screws, and that panel is going to come right off. And you get to see the magic that is your deal. Now, here's Here's the connector that I'm using. And what I'm going to do is like that. Okay. Switches back into the panel. Now we're going to go ahead and connect it. The good news is they give you plenty of uh, wire to play with. Okay, and before we put the screws back in, let's perfect. All right, so now we just got to get the screws back in. Same holes they came out of. Alright, and that is really as easy as it is. A little complicated by pulling that panel off, but even by taking out those six screws and connecting it, it's fine. Uh, I'm glad that I, tr I did the, the troubleshooting and discovered that it was the switch that was kind of going. And you'll know, you'll know it because it starts feeling a little gummy 
in there. And, uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and hold on to the switch. Uh, and, and I got an extra so that, you know, when that one goes out, although that took a good solid three years, but that's going to get thrown into my kit so that we have extra switches. You can never, never have enough, uh, switches. Um, I, you know, I, I talked to the guy at Curtis and, you know, he gave me all kinds of bypass tricks and whatnot. I, I'd much rather just replace it and and have a good switch in there that works uh everything's fine now panels back on the entire project had i not been recording would have been even with taking the panel off would have been less than 10 minutes so just uh you know i guess the moral of the story is keep extra switches and before you go out and say oh my motor's dying or or you know something Look around the the slide out. Make sure that you don't have any dog bones or balls or anything. And ask me why I know that uh, is in the way. If it's still not working, chances are it's your switch. But in a pinch, it beats cutting a hole in the bottom of your trailer and getting that wire thing up there and hand cranking your slide out back in and out. So pick up some extra switches. Thanks for watching. The Happy Place Diaries, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if this video was in any way helpful and or entertaining, hopefully more helpful than entertaining. Uh, share it with your friend and hit that subscribe button and the little bell to notify you when the next time you get to see my wonderful looking face. Go Cubs and have a great day.